like, oh, why don't you support like Australians, right? If you, you know, that they're struggling here too. They're not, you know, maybe they're people below the poverty line here too.、Mm. How can we supporting people overseas more? Yeah, I just think that there's so much help we can give to the world, but we just need to choose something that also ignites us, right? And I think I, I when I analyze it, I'm like, maybe it's because I was born in Vietnam, I lived in poverty. I feel really connected to it. Not that I don't feel sorry for other people with cancer or anything else, but there's only so much you can do to help. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I have my managing director Richard here, who's curious to ask me a few questions around why I chose to kind of help the Philippines and where did my drive to be generous come from.、Um, so yeah, anyway, I just thought he can just ask me whatever he wants on my YouTube channel. So if, of course, if you have any questions for me, love to hear in the comments below as well. Uh, I want to start off like no sucking up, right, Lynn? But <laughs> honestly, like you're one of the most generous people I know personally.、Uh, often we try to push you back of like, don't、Sorry. be too generous, right? And, and so, like, you know, I love to understand like how, how did that come about for you, and like how did that manifest into or translate into the charity side for、mm. you? I think、um, my parents, even though they went well off,、um, they were always kind of a giver. Um, and if anything, I, I, when I was growing up, I felt like they gave more to others than they give to their own kids,、mm. which is a good thing because then I had to learn to be a bit more independent and look after myself. But still, there was something about them that、um, taught me how to be a,、uh, more generous.、Um, but definitely, living in Vietnam made me, you know,、uh, make, makes me grateful for everything I have and、uh, me wanting to help. Um, you know the the old Lin that I can see. You know when I go to the Philippines, I'm like that's like the Vietnam. That's I still remember living there and feeling.、Um, you know you don't have enough money, you don't have food, and just the poverty experience、mm. that I've already had. When I got when I moved to Australia, I remember kind of almost anchoring my mind, saying like one day I'm going to help. By people, and although the Philippines aren't Vietnamese, I mean, you know, technically, I just meant I wanted to help the people that,、um, you know, that, that so because I understand what it's like to be in their shoes.、Mm. And you were in Vietnam for how long? Like eight years. So yeah, I was born there and lived there till nine, nine years. Nine. Ago. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So yes. you re- yeah you remember a lot. Yeah.、There. Actually, yeah. one thing I re- I want to、mm-hmm. share actually is that.、Um, Living in Vietnam, I remember、uh, my parents, etc., kind of look up to overseas people or people who are more wealthier as if they're better than them.、Mm. They couldn't help it. They just thought, well, you know, if you're richer, then I should treat you with respect.、Mm. But somehow, I really questioned that, and I said, somehow, I wanted to live my life and try to even out this equation. It's like I want the the poorer people to know that rich people can be. Nice and friendly as well, and can be helpful and not more better and arrogant than than you. And then, so then,、um, you know, one time my dad didn't let me drink a bottle of Sprite, and this is my Sprite <laughs> story. And he said that, "Who do you think you are to drink this drink?" Because he thought that my my family from Australia could drink it because they're guests and they are better better than us. And I was like, "Why are these people、uh, better than us? Then they can drink Sprite, and you're not letting your own daughter drink Sprite." And so it may I, something happened in my mind, thinking that one day I want to prove that we're all equal people,、mm. and that's why I want to help others, and I want us to all feel the same.、Mm-hmm. And then, okay, so then talk to me about like when you you know when did you start like giving to charity? Like, what, do you remember your first memory of starting to give to charity, and and what 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 was that like? Um, yeah, I mean, professionally or or officially, that was probably back in two thousand and. Twelve early on with my first marketing agency. So what happened was、um, uh, one of my team member Jonathan, who's still here actually after over ten years, his、uh, cousin who turned from、um, you know gangster life into a, a pastor, not pastor, sorry, a Christian brother. Doing charity work, and at the time he was trekking and he was doing all these things. And he said, "Hey, my cousin is doing this and he's raising money." I'm like, "Perfect, I want to help." And、um, you know, I always believe that more money will only reveal who you really are, and you don't need to wait till your billionaire, millionaire, whatever to give. At the time, it was just a you know five figure business, whatever it was. We gave a few hundred dollars, and it was here and there, but we. You know, we started that momentum of giving from back then. Yeah,、oh, so Bimbo is John's yeah. cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that, right? So we still so, support、okay. Bimbo now. Bimbo,、uh, if you go on our Outsourcing Angel website, we made a story about him and how he turned his life around. Ah,、oh, right, right, right. Yes, okay, yeah, cool. Related. And,、yeah. and so then, like, and you don't do this for tax, like benefits at all, which some people confuse it with, right? Every time I mention it, they're charity stuff. 
Mm. Um, tell me about the reason behind that. Like, how come you want to do like, you know, it's very easy for people to be like, oh, why don't you support like Australians, right? If you, you know, that they're struggling here too. They're not, you know, maybe they're people below the poverty line here too. Mm. How can we supporting people overseas more? Yeah. On that end? I just think that there's so much help we can give to the world, but we just need to choose something that also ignites us, right? And I think I, I when I analyze that, I'm like, maybe it's because I was born in Vietnam, I lived in poverty, I feel really connected to it. Not mm. that I don't feel sorry for other people with cancer or anything else, but there's only so much you can do to help. And then what I also love is that I wanted to be able to help and know that every dollar goes towards that, um, mm. you know, to the people that, that are needed. And sometimes when you uh, look at charities, you already know that, um, you know, a lot of money goes into the operating the actual yeah. business, not to the actual charity. And so I felt really fortunate to be able to find opportunities to actually have people volunteering, doing the work and whatever money you give them, they literally give it to others. So, you know, back to your point about, yes, we're not like a proper charity. So it means that, you know, you're not going to get tax deductible things and we don't even raise money really. You know, I feel like we just do it because we want to do it and we don't do it so that we could have a marketing spin. Mm -hmm. We don't do it so that, you know, we get tax benefits or anything like that. And so when we um, have people interested in giving, we're like, just remember that whatever you're giving, you're, we're giving it all to, to those people. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. We're not a charitable uh, organization. Mm -hmm. And look like, you're not also, I think one of us, the things here are always, we're not big into going with a big organization, mm. right? As great as the, the work that they do, we want to target, like make deeper impact is what I'm hearing here from yourself. So even like, you remember like uh, Wendy helped out with these initiatives where we reach out to our angel nation and people would share about these smaller causes i think you would call it right yeah. like right in covid we we yeah. sponsored what was that was it some nurses right? yeah that's yeah. right yeah, yeah so yeah the other thing we do that is kind of fun and and engaging for our community of vas is that it's not just about lynn's charity it's about okay who else can we help and the vas suggested um communities and that's the best part because we want to you want to be able to with minimal money you want to be able to give um to the right people mm. that's going to benefit the most and mm. so it's really good that, and then even nowadays, you know, uh, I go to church and I love what my church is doing. And we also put some money into it towards that. I have a friend who um, helps Vietnam, mm. uh, you know, all the kids there who can't even go to school because they're so poor. And, you know, we donate a little bit of money over there as well. And we don't talk all about it on our website because it's just, you know, it's, 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 we do it out of love and not to do it out of bragging. Mm. And then tell me, like some people probably then sit on the fence and they're like, oh but if they're not big charities how do you know right like that many money's being spent properly like what 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 do you require of these like smaller causes and mm. be like hey i feel like yeah my my money is being spent wisely here by these people like i think they send photos videos yeah yeah more, like so the thing is uh i've been there i've met them we've done charity work we've been we were even fortunate that we found a donor um so a guy named Ben, he was actually looking for something more legit where he knows that every dollar would go directly to the the, the people in need. And so when he found our, uh, our work, he was like, hey, can I go to the Philippines next week? And we're like, sure, okay. And so we're able to call our volunteers, organize the trip, make it happen. You know, if, if we all wanted to go and visit these places, we can do it tomorrow. And um, yeah, but every time, we, sometimes we get donors here who maybe give $200, but we will get our volunteers to make it happen, send a video, send some photos and, and you know, thank the, the donor. And so, yeah, this is real because it's, it's happening really quickly and mm. the help that we do. And what I like about having these direct volunteers is that they know what these communities need right now. So just because we've got money for school, et cetera, but if that typhoon just hit, we want him to utilize that money to start to help people who are, you know, desperate. Like rebuilding yeah. and all of that. Yeah. Okay, nice. And then I wanted to get into how then you incorporate that into OA, mm. right? To not just the culture of OA, but also like our company trip, how it's like mm. we, we spend literally a day out Right with Bim Boy and or and other select charities, you know, tell us more about like what made you want to drive that. 
career. Yeah. And, you know, if you ask me what's my dream, I think one day when I do less work and a boredom business, I think I would spend a lot more time being physically there doing charity work because, you know, when you give money, yes, it's good because these people, without the money, they can't help. Uh, but still it will be nice to kind of be there and help. And so, yeah, I think – um, by having company trips and getting the employees to experience it themselves. You know, we've partnered with Villani Foundation in the past where our VAs go there and even teach computer courses to, uh, you know, disadvantaged students over mm-hmm. there. And so integrate – and that's what makes VAs so excited working for us because they are like, you give us a purpose. We're not just a freelancer working online. Uh, with Working with OA, we get opportunities to help to feel like every day that we're working means that with it's almost like they found us and they trust that we're utilizing the money in the right way mm-hmm. you know that we're helping the right people and not just trying to take all the money and be the most profitable company mm. and as we wrap up here like talk to me more about the future like i know we discussed like maybe we're gonna bring like clients on like these these like company trips where you have client days out right mm-hmm. and then they get to meet their vas and then yeah talk to me more about like that and the charity work that you want to involve them in on yeah, so um, I would love to be able to organize these trips so that, um, you know, clients can actually experience what the Philippines is like. You know, I was so ignorant where I thought that Philippines were like Vietnam. So I didn't go there for so many years until I think 2016. And when I got there, I was like, this is so different to Vietnam, you know. Mm. And so being there is so uh, much more um you know, like real and you can really, and you know, when you go there, you walk away feeling so grateful with your mm-hmm. life. You know, there's so many people living on the streets and you know, really pop. I'm talking about even in the city, let mm. alone the mountains, that are the, the people in the mountains that we help. I'm talking about even in Manila, there's just so many people in desperate need for help. And so in the future, I would love to for us to do more charity work, bringing clients over there, not just seeing what the Philippines is like, but then giving back, doing charity work, charity work, and then meeting their VAs and just create this experience. And I think one thing I want to leave is, it's not just about doing charity outside of work. It's like, how do you become charitable within your organization? Mm-hmm. So I try, we always instill within our employees to help one another. You know, if um, one of us need advance payment or something that's happening in the family, we would help our VAs first. Mm-hmm. You know, we don't just wait to do charity so that we look good in any way, mm-hmm. but how do we do this every day as part of our culture? So, mm-hmm. okay. Um, if people want to reach out and, Contribute to the cause, right? Where's the best place for them to head? Yeah, so we have a page on Outsourcing Angel. It's called uh, Join Us in Our Movement, I guess. And on there, you'll see that there is a PayPal button. You click on it, whatever money you send there, it literally goes to the volunteer group that we currently help uh, regularly every single month. So as a commitment from Outsourcing Angel, we currently give 10% of our profit to these organizations. Um, But yeah, any extra will do. And yeah, thank you for listening and i hope that i've shared with you some um, ideas on how you can be more charitable and uh, yeah hopefully when you're starting a business or you're still running a business to really incorporate how you can help others um, outside of your own circle so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time